Investigators and Montgomery officials are increasing the reward for information that leads to new information about a deadly shooting. A mother gunned down and authorities say the suspected gunmen were caught on camera. WSFA 12 News anchor Jasmine Williams has the details. It's tonight's Case File Report. Caught up in crossfire. A mother, 52 years old, shot and killed in her sleep at her home in Montgomery. And now the family and local leaders are coming together to find answers. This is the 12 News Defenders case file, Yvette Carter. I think they were targeting someone else and um, she got hit. Chilling video, three people in hoodies sitting in a black car on Hatton Avenue one late February night. And then one of those people walks across the Sherwood apartment complex with a gun and pulls the trigger. 52 year old Yvette Carter was inside her home and she was shot. Lay down, said she had a headache. Um, it was some gunshots fired and um, she was found dead. The mother of three and grandmother had been living in that area for nearly 10 years, but her oldest daughter, Deidre Sherrell, said she always had her concerns. And that's because of recent gun violence on Hatton Avenue. Those worries turned into her worst nightmare that night, February 2023, when her mother was shot and killed. And before this shooting, crime had already gotten so bad there that it actually caught the attention of Montgomery City Council member Aronde Mitchell. This was maybe the second um, shooting in probably a two week uh, span. The council member has been going after several apartment complex owners in Montgomery for years now, calling for them to make changes and make the units more livable. And Sherwood was one of them. He said they held a hearing with the business owners recently. We asked them to put some things in place, um, camera system, um, off-duty police officers, security guards, because it was a big issue. And while the owners haven't made all those changes yet, for council member Mitchell, this issue, this shooting death is personal. He grew up with Yvette Carter in North Montgomery. Middle school all the way up to, to high school, so I have known Yvette my entire life. And now he's joining forces with Montgomery County Commissioner Carmen Moore Ziegler and Central Alabama Crime Stoppers to help this family find out who shot and killed Yvette Carter and why. It's not going to mend our broken heart, but it will at least bring us some type of closure. We can at least find out who did this. With this 12 News Defenders case file in Montgomery, I'm Jasmine Williams. Crime Stoppers, the city and the county all put up reward money for information in this case. That reward is now at $3,000.